If I could describe these two players in musical form, just through music in general, on one end, you got Keon Hatcher. And on the other hand, you got TJ Lee. Talk my shit. Let me talk my shit. I'm from Seattle. The heck's gonna always be in the city. One of them is gonna sit there and run off on you every single time he gets a catch. And the other one is gonna talk his shit. We got Keon Hatcher and we got TJ Lee. It's a double feature, y'all. Let's get it. Dudes with dreads. What's good, everybody? It's Coach Two with Coach Two Reacts, and I am back for another video. So, yes, we have another double feature. So the next six videos are going to be offense, defense, offense, defense, offense, defense, and then one of them is going to be, in the case of Terry Williams' video, is going to be special teams and defensive players. So just be on the lookout for that one, man. Uh, this one right here is offensive, defensive, and the first person we're reacting to in this double feature needs no introduction whatsoever. Uh. Bruh, scary when his hair is unbraided. Bruh, scary when he has his hair braided. He turns into two different people, and I am scared of both of them. <laughs> so, uh, I, I can always say this with all due respect. I didn't even know, first of all, I didn't even know me and him were the same age. I did not know me and bruh were in the same birth year. I thought he was like 33, 34. I thought he was up there in age with Gary Peters, but come to find out, we both 90s babies. And the man I am talking about, I called <laughs> Uncle Hatch, Charles Hatch, uh, is actually Keon Hatcher. Hatch, he missed the first three games of the season. He came into week four, man, and he somehow, some doggone way, improved his catches. He had 78 catches out of 121 attempts for 1,226 yards and six touchdowns. Up from five touchdowns. 170 catches, 1,043 yards, and he's only been in the CFL three years. That's the craziest part. He's been on the line for three years. What more can he do? And and I think that when we watch these highlights together, I, I want us to take a look at not just who his player comparison could be, but just his player, play, I guess we could say the versatility. His versatility, being 6'1", 212 pounds, that's pretty solid for a wide receiver. It's not the biggest, not the smallest, but he is really like, uh, what is it? Physically, he's there. And I just want to see what he can do. I've seen more of him over time, and now I finally get a chance to lock in for 19 minutes and 29 seconds on his player highlights. Because I, at first, I thought Hatch was just a possession receiver, or I just thought he was a guy that did, you know, the short routes, intermediates. He played more boundary side, but Bruck can move across the field, and I'm excited to see this. So, if this is your first time to the channel, run over there, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that jazz. We have memberships. Join the membership. Click. Uh, also, we have a Shopify. So, if you're interested in merch, it's gonna be dropping over the winter time and also upcoming in the spring. You're more than welcome to go check that out. And we have gift cards. Twenty-five dollars is the minimum. Two hundred dollars is the maximum. Go get you one. And if you already, if you are a membership click member, you will be getting at least a ten to twenty percent discount on merch. So, level nine thousand IQ. And without any further ado, let's take a look at Keon Hatcher's twenty twenty-three season highlights first. All right, here we go. First game back, this was week four. Jesus. Fix my chair. I gotta sit up straight for this right here. Patient. All right, here we go, come around the bend. Right there. I didn't really have to pat it, but still got it there. Fix the shoulder pass. Mm. 
across the first down marker. That will do it through three quarters of play with his first down call. All right, red zone threat. He looks to throw quickly, slipping on the grass. <laughs> he knew he had that one. He was supposed to be a touchdown. But that, the ability to get behind the secondary and get, get make them get lost in their own coverage is a lost art. It takes a special gift to be able to do something like this. Find the green in the zone. Ooh. In between three. Oh, my Lord Jesus. Hey, even though they're down 11, that's still a catch. Mackey with the great pickup. Had Mackey not have gotten the pickup, that would have been trouble. But look right there. Hop and almost knocked his own dude out. And still, presence of mind to get the ball. Come on now. All right, punt return. Why would you put this in here? Why? I guess show he can do more. All right, right there to Dane. From Dane. Okay. <laughs> I try to seal him off. Hey. Hatch. You was lagging a little bit. You was lagging, but you was getting there. You was moving. Outside. Boom. Let's go out. Okay. I like that he can go from the middle to make a catch in the middle of the field to also hashes. He finds the stop routes. He can do curls. He can do a little bit of everything. The hell, he gonna run the route tree. But his, but I see like his bread and butter is hitches, stops. He can do uh, zigs. He can do a little bit of, a little bit of everything. And that versatility to be able to run the route tree like that, you gonna play? <laughs> Dang. Fluid. You gotta think about it. From 2020, 2022 and 2023, he's played with four different quarterbacks at some point in time. He played with Nathan. He played with uh, Davis right here. He's played with Dane, Vernon. That's four different types of quarterback. And the ball's different. Proving my point. To be able to play with that type of... Uh, that amount of those different types of quarterbacks and in that short amount of time in two seasons you can catch the ball from anybody Sean Bain told me um, an episode of deep in the game when he was in college he played I think every year he's played with a different quarterback but it benefits you as a receiver right there A threat. Right here. Fake the outside. Boom. With the shoulder. Work back inside. It wasn't even that much work, but he still worked his way outside to get inside. Great. Okay. Yeah. He had to turn. Had to look back. You got to hold on to that hatch, but you got it. Got the first. He's deceptively fast. Mm. He's got a finger on it. Take a shot. Disrespectful. Dead on accurate from Yeah, Williams. Whoa. Bail, 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 bail. Stay on that outside leverage because he got him. knows that he's gonna get led right. And he gave him all the inside too. 
Come on now. Come on now. The middle's there. Quick. Could have went outside on that one, but still got it. Mm. Switch Marshall. Say it with me now. Just slide. Slide, baby. Slide. Just slide, baby. Slide. Just slide, baby. Slide. Come on. Come on. Got to get rid of it. Okay. Oh, Vernon Gimpy. Now you got Lucky. Lucky going to take the top off anytime. But Hatch, you got to stay with him. You got a linebacker on him. Might have the body for it, but speed. Oh, right there. Oh, that was a tackle. But adjustments. Come on now. He's living in the middle of the defense, man. He's living in the middle. Some guys like to live on the edge, on the boundary, but he all up in there, right there. Let him. They only said in three? Damn, they playing way back. And still. I thought they only sent three. Shows they were. It, you know what? I'm going to be nice. I'm going to be nice. I'm going to be nice. All right. One backer. Send everybody else back. So they dropping now. Okay. They got nine. My math sucks. Eight back. As it works in their favor, because they up ten nothing. Overran it, but great play. Coming around the bend, right there. Jesus on the main line. Off the edge, off the edge, get it out. I guess this game plan worked for Hamilton. I mean, they got eight back. Not a bad scheme. Red zone. Now, you know he wasn't going to get there and intercept that. Stop playing with me. What angle is you taking? If he was dropping back or hooked, to, what was you doing? All right, there's Montreal. Mm. He getting warmed up. Time to set it off. But he moving. Cross. Touchdown. And Bev don't give up too many. And Reggie didn't give up a single touchdown this season, so miscommunication right here. Uh, they, they gave up some real estate right there with Sean crashing like that, but crashing C. All right, sell it. Play action. Let it go. Let it go. Ain't no announcements or nothing. Sell it on the play action. Respect. Respect, dog. Boom. All right, it's against uh, Edmonton. Edmonton. So 
Ooh. Oh no, no. Okay, he's up, he's up. You know, I, I, I look at Hatch and I see a lot of Larry Fitzgerald in him. A little bit of Larry, a little bit of Keenan Allen, but also a little bit of Mike Evans. Oh my God. Why? 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 Watch her. He just. Oh, that was against my dog. And then you gonna grow. Chaz, come on, come on. It happens to the best of us, but damn. Mm mm mm. Ooh. Alright. In stride. You gotta have good vision to be able to see that one coming at you. Craw, drag, uh, stop. Sit. Okay, he's sitting. Damn. Play action. Oh my gosh. Oh, he had. It. Oh, well. He had a lot of crowd to cover. <laughs> Mismatch. Boom. He rolling. He a little bit of a safety blanket as well as like a toy, but by any by all means, Hatch is gonna get her get out there. Even out of his out of his release, like out of his release, he's still it doesn't look like he's going fast on his route, but he's hauling ass. He hauling ass. This one looks familiar. Very familiar. I watch. Good protection. Cross face. Mm. Round that out. No pun intended. Slip. Oh. Grown ass man. All right, here goes. Winnipeg. Release coming for you. Oh. I'm starting to see they want that. They want that matchup where you have to move him and you know they're gonna have to put a get a lot catch him. Crossing a linebacker because you know the linebacker can't keep up with him. And then when you got a DB on him, he's still DB too small. Hey. Now what? Okay. Y'all just be y'all just be doing anything. Foot got caught in the ground. All right, that was a little extra, but all right. But it's Cassie told us. I mean, he, he was a good dude. He's a good dude. You hurt yourself flying in there. 41 seconds. Get that first. Quick. Oh, yeah. Situational football. Come 
Come on now. Come on, Hatch. Come on. Got Dave mad. Let it go. Let it go. Ooh. In front of Cam. Way to be under control with the throw, too. That could have went left easily. Easily. And you got to give credit to Vernon for sitting in the for staying in the pocket on a couple of these right here. Even under with the pressure coming right here, pocket collapsing. That toughness to sit there and take that. Oh, sir. Oh, yes. He likes that. And you know what's funny? I like that he doesn't have to do 10,000 moves just to get out of his stance and get out of his release. Because there's a lot of guys that try to do that Jerry Judy shit or that Odell shit and have to try and see walk on you to get out there, release, and try to get separation. But look at that. Oh, that's oh the round out was smooth. Here we go. Give it to him. Beautifully. That'll put him over 300 yards passing in the ball game. You just can't do it much better. Talk your shit. To Hatcher right there in the slot. Well, I guess he doesn't have to do the most. They're not trying to, they're not pressing. He doesn't have to do too much footwork to get out of his release, but you have to see him do all that crossover stuff. And oh, oh, there we go. He gone. Ah. Just outside the 30. How about if you're Addy M. Merglin and you're sold that? Oh. Number three. First of all, he sidearm slings to Hatcher, who does the rest of the heavy lifting down the field. We on to the next one, yo. Wait, there's one more. Hold on, I lied. I lied. I lied. Hey. He ain't have to get in the end zone more than six times just to be to make a difference for the offense, man. So that's 75 of him. 75 catches, man. Not bad. Not bad at all, sir. All right. Let's move on to the next one. All right, boom. So check it out. Now we are on to TJ Lee right now. Um, TJ Lee playing DB for the BC Lions, man. Shout out to TJ, man, from the city. He's from West Seattle. That's about... 35, 45 minutes from the homestead where I'm at, and uh, it's good to see a brother from the city, man. That you know, brother out here doing his thing, playing pro, playing professional football. Even RP, he from Seattle as well too. So it's good to see guys like that, man. So uh, let's get into it. Only three minutes and nine seconds. Fam, we'll get the chance to talk, TJ. Uh, I just want to know, why? Why would you do that? I, I just want to know, why? what was going through your mind at that time? What was the, in theory, it was a decent idea, but the execution wasn't there. I don't think Gary was ready for it. But uh, if you could tell me, man, what would what happen on that, I, I just want to know. Because that, that's been bugging me since week one. And 
I just need to know. So holler at me. All right. Bring this Montreal. Oh my gosh. Yeah, a quick one. Okay. Blitz coming, blitz coming. Oh, get it on the run. It'd be cliche to say Mighty Mouse, but uh, not Maul. All right. I ain't gonna. I ain't even gonna call you Mighty Mouse, fam. Good night. Good night. Wow. Okay. He overthrew it. He was talking too. I know he was talking. All right. Wow. And it turns into a bigger loss. Okay. Six on the play. Field, and you do that with getting tackling in the run game. Everybody getting there, getting the hat on the ball. But clean up. The clean up crew. First penetration, and then Wood is eight back. You know, that. That right there. That right there. Stop. Go back. Go the hell back. Look at him. Look, look, look at that. That's, that's fucking fundamentals right there. One more time. Hold on. We we go we go we 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 going to slow this down. We going we going we going I want I want to I want to uh see she's young cats, man. It's cool to have it's cool to play with fundamentals, man. Right, right. He okay, all I say is the tackle was what it was, but he just sat. He didn't have to do much. He ain't, he, he's just right there. Put yourself in a position to make plays. It doesn't have to be over dramatic. It doesn't have to be the most exceptional play. Sometimes the safe play is the best play. Although I will say the tackle, you know, we we going we, we going we going to put a C on the end on that thing and we going to give it away. We going we going to let it live, man. Great play. Great play, TJ. I I likes that. I likes that. That defensive play. Oh, I messed up. In the backfield immediately. Here's a look at the BCD. All right, here we go. Hey, he's like the littlest man out there, but look at the blitz. <laughs> Even though it was Trey. Ooh, not the knee, though. Showtime! Better late than never. They tell me time is money, but we'll spend it together. I'm down for whatever. <laughs> <laughs> TJ. Oh, that's it? Come on. Uh, I'm just getting into it, y'all. All right. Well, let's get to our final thoughts, y'all. All right, y'all. So here we are with the final thoughts. Let's start with, with Hatch, man. I like I like receivers that can do a little bit of everything. I mentioned that before. Um, I like I like wide receivers that can do, that can run the whole route tree, and and you don't always have to get in. The, and of course, you want to get in the end zone, but you don't always have to. There's more to the game than just that leads up to getting to the end zone. And it don't matter who get in there as long as you y'all get in there, you punch it in, and you go on to your next series. Um, Hatch, you see, and I, I think my favorite game from watching this would have to be against Hamilton and those that last drive. Presence of mind and situational football is something you always hear about, but it's another thing to do it and be successful. And on that last one, getting on the ground and leaving one second on the clock for Sean White to come on and kick the game-winning field goal, that says a lot. Cause he could have he could have done some DK Metcalf shit and not ran out of bounds and try to fight the DBs to get extra yards you know, and pad his stats. No, that that's 
that's a guy that I would like on my team. But he also, man, he does a little bit of everything as far as just whether you want to run out out, out routes, whether you want him to make places to do stops, curl, uh, curls, hitches, whatever you want to call it. Everybody calls it some different hitch, curls, whatever the thing is. Uh, stretch the field on a cross. You want him to do a drag. You want him to do a little bit of everything. Even on like just a little adjustment where Vernon had to throw it over the lineman and still getting a first down. That's putting yourself in a position to to win and be successful as a just a football player in general. So, uh, man, Hatch is like that. So, big shout out to you, Hatch, man. And love your game, brother. And uh, if I could say his NFL compare, like I said, his NFL comparison would be like, uh, if it's someone great, you know, Larry Fitzgerald. Uh, I also say uh, Keenan Allen. But he does not. Well, with, with Keenan Allen, he's he's under he's underrated to the point where he's like we know who he is, but he's still underrated because he don't do a lot of talking. He just go out there and play. Hash is just angry, and don't piss him off because he'll go for ten and one fifty on you and two tubs. But that's what I see in Hatch now. As far as TJ Lee goes. Three minutes and nine seconds is not enough time to really like say anything, but I'm just gonna go on a limb and I'm just gonna say it because it's probably a wild thing to say and I don't really care. Uh, TJ Lee's comparison would be Brian Dawkins. And I am the biggest, one of the biggest Brian Dawkins fans uh, out there. But man, <laughs> that thing about DB's not wanting to hit is very true, but TJ being like five nine, maybe five eight at that, and being a and being a a stink in the secondary, a ball hawk. I'll even add he got a little bit of Marcus Peters to him. Marcus Peters don't like nobody, <laughs> but uh, it's a I know it's two different positions. I know you know uh, B Doc was a safety and you know Marcus Peters uh, corner, but. His his ability to find the ball and his ability to make to track the ball, go get it, make plays on it, uh, and just being in the run game, being in the run game as a, as a DB is hard. But playing way back there, it makes a difference. He's making a big difference. So I like what I see. I'll say Brian Dawkins and Marcus Peters when he's in coverage. So run run game wise, run support wise, Brian Dawkins, but an aggressiveness and, and fire, but. As far as coverage wise, Mark Pierce, he's a he's a little bit of a gambler. I like that. He takes a chance. He sees the ball come out of his quarter out of the quarterback's hands. He gonna go get that shit, and I like it. So big shout out to TJ Lee, man. Uh good to see a 206 bro do his thing, man. And uh again, shout out to Hatch. Shout out to everybody at the BC Lions, man. And uh yeah, we're gonna get on to the next one. We are going to react to the next episode of Arrow Up. And uh we're gonna have another double feature coming here soon. So Again, y'all continue to be great, strive for greatness, all that jazz, and always remember. You talking to me? I done told you! Take your drunk ass home! Bang! The man's in the house. So crazy. The man's in the house. I'ma tell you the truth. The man's in the house. So crazy. The man's in the house.